incredible to think that after Tom endured what he did in losing his son and the incredible pain that comes with that, that he would ultimately experience an overwhelming love from God and embrace it. And any anger he had toward God due to the death of his son, he said, Lord, I'm going to love you back anyway. You know, isn't life like that sometimes? Here's a family enjoying fellowship with each other, playing with their son, and moments later, just the unthinkable happens, and they lose him. And Tom had a choice. He could hold this anger. He could hold on to the grief without looking to change. But he said, Lord, I'm going to explore who you are. Are you the truth? I'm in sorrow. I am in grief. Who are you? And Tom talked about how he felt this overwhelming love from the Gospel of John. I found that so interesting that reading John in the New Testament, Tom just experienced the love of Christ in a powerful way that he did not anticipate. Now, in the 16th chapter of John, Jesus is speaking to his disciples, and he says to them, I know you are in sorrow. I know you are in grief. And this is because he was telling them he'd be leaving them and going away, and he'd been telling them what they were to experience. And he said to those disciples, you are in grief. I know that. You are in sorrow. Tom was in sorrow and grief. Perhaps you are too. But Jesus followed up with his disciples, and he said, but listen, it is good that I'm going away. And they, they must have been baffled by Jesus saying that. It's for our good that you're leaving. He said, it's good because when I go, I will send the counselor. That's the Holy Spirit. The counselor will guide you into all truth. He will counsel and guide you. And the disciples experienced that. And Tom experienced that. He was on a pursuit of knowing who God was. And he fell in love with Jesus, even in his Grief. I just want to urge you today, no matter what horrific experience you've been through, who you've lost, you can bring that pain to God. We're encouraged to do so in the Word of God. Bring God your pain, your anger, your frustration, your sorrow. He can receive the emotions you are feeling, and He will work with us through those emotions. May I pray for you now? If you're experiencing that grief and sorrow and feel that you cannot endure any longer, I want to pray that the Holy Spirit of God will meet you in a magnificent and loving way, just like Tom experienced. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for those now in grief and in sorrow where they feel forgotten by you or abandoned and are wondering where you are. Lord God, we just saw a story where the Holy Spirit moved in a powerful way upon a heart that was in pain and in sorrow, but willing to hear from you in spite of it. And I pray, Lord, today people hear your voice in an unmistakable way and their lives are changed forever. I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. If you need prayer, please give us a call. 1-800-700-7000.